Hello and welcome to Talk Audio TV, filmed on the Sony Handicap. I'm a pioneer today with Mr. Grish Jande and I'm delighted to be able to tell you that this is a very, very hot video for Talk Audio because this is the 2013 range and nobody else has seen this. We are the absolute firstest with the worstest. Um, this particular board has got the AVH, MVH and DEH products on. The other room's got some, I, was, I felt so warm and loved. It's all set up, especially as if there was a whole crowd of press and it's just my fat self in it. Um, but those, uh, uh, the DAB and uh, app radios are in the other room. But we'll, um, we'll, we'll do clips on those as well. But first off, um, tell us about the uh, phone pairing and how easy it is to do with that big, sexy uh, double din in the middle of your board there. The FHX 700BT there, Chris. Talk to us, tell yeah, us Yeah, sure. It. Well, firstly, um, Adam, you are right. This is... Uh, quite an exclusive for Talk Audio. So what we're doing is we're just going to have some a run through on some of our key features on our new products which no one else has seen yet. So it's a, it's a big exclusive for you. Cool. The first one is this unit here. So this is our FH um, X700 BT. The X is for mix tracks and the BT is for Bluetooth. Right. And what we're going to do is we're just going to show you how easy it is to pair a phone to a Pioneer product. And we use a Parrot Bluetooth module um, and we also use a, a profile called SSP for simple secure pairing. I'm going to show you how easy it is to pair a phone. So I haven't touched the unit. All we've done is just switch the demo board on. And I'm going to use a, an iPhone 5. And what I'm going to do is just go into my Bluetooth settings. Show the camera, go on. I don't know if you can see that there. And it's just kind of bringing them all up here. So we haven't done anything to the unit yet. We haven't even switched it on. It's as though you've literally just got it out of the box, had it in your car, powered it up for the first time. You haven't done anything. So we'll just go and select the unit we want there. Let's zoom on into your hands. Here, there you go. So you can see what it's doing is there's a, a pin code which has come up on the unit there. Yep. And it's come up on in automatically now we've connected on there. So on here it says, can you see there it says connected? Yep. There we go, connected. So I haven't touched the unit yet. So what I'm going to do now is if I just grab, sorry, Come out of shot, back in. Go I, on in on that head unit there. Now ring the phone, you'll see what happens on the stereo. Just to show you how easy it really is to pair your phone now with a Pioneer product. So I haven't even switched the unit on, all I've done is pair the phone. And there you go, instantly the Gee phone man. is working. <laughs> yeah. That was just demo mode, just sitting there as if you'd been driving along, but um, yeah, that was in demo mode, you can switch all that off. So you can yes. see how the illumination is changing, but it's fixed on the display. Gotcha. So I'll just hang up this call now. And what I'll do is I'll show you a key feature, just to kind of make it easier to use, is how to change the illumination for a phone call. Yes, please So please do. what we'll do is we'll switch the unit on, so you can see it's come out of demo mode and it's gone to um, RGB zone. So if we just go into any source, say for example, I don't know, uh, Bluetooth audio, let's make sure no volume comes through. Can you see instantly how the illumination is different from the display? Awesome. It's, what, it's what we call split zone RGB. And so RGB stands for red, green, blue, like the pixels of your television, so correct. you can get pretty much, you know, only 210,000 colours, so pretty much all the colours you could ever imagine. Only. Yeah. So we're in illumination mode. So if we want that one, we can have change the phone colour, we can change the dimmer, the key colour, or the display colour. It's going to sell a lot of you. And just to show you there, you can kind of see how the display is changing on its own. <laughs> cool. Yeah, baby. We'll have that in scan mode, yes. and then if we go to uh, key color, we can have that in any color we pretty much want as well. So we'll just go, I don't know, let's have that in pink, for pink example. Pink yeah. There we go. Very special moderator on Talk Audio. But what we can do is we can change the phone color. Ooh. So as your phone rings and it yeah. comes through, you can have different illuminations. Okay. So it's even easier so to see. Flash that. FX, it's one of those flashing Bonko type settings. That you so there's your, your one okay. there, you can have That's great. That's FX1, uh, no. yep. show FX2, set it and show us. FX3. That's the bonkerest one, FX3, I think. Yeah, FX4. I'm talking rubbish, they get more and more bonkers as they go. And FX5 as well. Yes. FX6 is in there, kind of a different colour. So there's lots of different, it off. different uh, so, so set one and uh, let's make another quick call and watch it yep. change. So now, if you said FX4 was bonkers, didn't you? No, uh, three? Just, just for the sake of picking one, yes. There, there we go. go, let's pick that one. So back out. Uh, we've got something on there, and I'll just make the call it again. So it's settled on a happy little purple. So we can see, if I just press that there, I'll put the phone next to it so you can see it comes through on there. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. Just phoning up and. Oh, it's going you go. mad, you know, the phone's about ready. 
So it's kind of like just one of the key features we've got. It just shows you literally how you can change the illumination to your own personal taste, how easy it is to do, but a key feature we've added for this year is you can change the phone color, uh, sorry, the illumination to your phone, to your own preference as well, and you can do it on a range of Bluetooth units. That's brilliant. Grish, thank you very much indeed. That's uh, Mr. Grish Jando Pioneer. We're just gonna pop into the other room now and yeah. have a look at the uh, DAB and app radio. Yeah. So see you Let's do it. Thank you. Okay, here we are in the other room with all the uh, uh, other bits of kit set up, and Grish is about to tell us about uh, System Follow, which is, I gather, about digital radio, but with an overlay of reality of FM and the fact the whole UK isn't completely covered yet, huh? Correct. So what it is, is uh, I'll just show you literally how to use System Follow on the uh, DHX6500 DAB. Right. And literally what it does is it allows the user to drive around the UK, and if they listen to a digital radio only station, if it's available on FM as well, it will auto switch to FM once they lose signal. Gotcha. And as soon as the signal comes back in again, it automatically goes back to DAB. I've not so kind of other bits of kit doing that. It's kind of, well, we're trying to push the boundaries for digital radio um, and kind of just make them, again, easier to use for the consumer and right make now. it more beneficial efficient for them. Yeah. yeah. So it shows how that's done. Let's so let's just turn the unit from demo mode off and we're into DAB. Okay. And the first thing you need to do is go into your menu. So I just literally push the volume controller in. You search around, you've got different menus there, but the one we want is function. And you press that. And if you want to select it, Sorry, you select it on. Yep, yep. Uh, and then if you want to select it off. So if it's on, now when you're listening to a digital radio station, for example, um, BBC Radio 1, which is available on FM as well, as you drive around, once you drop signal, even though there's a signal level meter on screen, which is another feature we've added in, it will auto switch to FM. When the signal comes back in for DAB, it instantly goes back to digital. But if you're listening to a digital radio station, which isn't available on DAB, there'll just be a slight drop of signal and then it'll come back in again. So it's a real cool feature if you want more signals you're driving around. So there you go, system follow feature of digital radios from Pioneer Radio for 2013. You heard it here first on Talk Audio. Let's go on and find out about time shift as well, because yep. your DABs can do that stuff, PVRs can do via telly. Let's go look at that, here we go. Right, so now we've uh, just moved the camera and we're now pointing it at a slightly more expensive machine. That's the DEH8500 DAB. And Grish, tell us about time shift, because there's so many times when I just want to hit the end of the track and. I can do it in my telly, but I can't do it in my car. Sure. Can I? Well, you can now, Adam. Um, so what we're going to do is this is our first single DIN DAB unit with built-in Bluetooth as well. So we're bringing this out into the market. It's available very, very soon. You're the first person to actually see how this works outside of this building. So what we've done is we've introduced a feature called Time Shift. Now, if you're or watching TV at home, it's one of the things that's changed it is you can pause and rewind live TV, for example. Yeah. You want to go and put the kettle on or someone rings a doorbell or I don't know, yeah, your cat's walk past and you need to see what's happened again. On this one, you can do pretty much the same thing but on live digital radio. So I can pause what I'm listening to, also I can rewind what I'm listening to and I'll show you how to do that. Show me, let's zoom on in. So if we just switch the unit on, the first thing you need to do is tune a digital radio station in. Now different to FM, FM you get white noise in the background, on digital radio you don't. You can't hear nothing until you physically tune a station in. Zero and ones. So very easily, you just go onto there, choose the type you want, and if we go around to say a digital only station, for example, BBC Radio 1 Extra. That's how we work, <laughs> you know. So there you go, you can hear the music in the background there. Now you can see in there, we've got BBC Radio 1 Extra. Let's push and hold the volume button. What I've just done is I've just paused live radio. And currently, we're the only ones that can do that at the moment. So this is completely going to change how you listen to radio in the car because no one's done it before. So if you're on that happening radio station, you're going choon, choon, but yep. you got to the front of the queue at Mackie D's or the drive through you can press pause and just carry on ruling the moment you got your chicken. Huh? Correct, yep. So what you can do is once you've got your munchies, yes. push and hold again. Yes. And it's unpaused it. But actually, now we're slightly behind live. Yeah. So what we can do is if you... So you finish listening to that bit, you want to go back to hearing what the cool DJ's got to say about Yeah, the say you've missed the score yeah. uh, on TalkSport, for example, or, I don't know, you missed what the track title was. You push and hold this button here. Now we've gone back to live radio. So, uh, yeah. So you can see I'm just going through the different menu options on the screen. If I push and hold, the display's changing on the bottom. Can you gotcha. see that? Yeah, I can see it's coming. Yep. It's and now what I can do, if I press that one, it's, front, it's, front, it's come back. And you can see yes. we've gone back one minute already. So what we're doing is as you're listening, 
if you go past kind of like the memory time we've got in Bill, yeah. it will go over what you've got. So literally the time is shifting as you're listening through and then you can just go back and keep going back. And if you don't like it, you just come out of it. Get that back. Yep. Turkey, and then you're back on live. We're back to live radio again, yeah. That is so, so cool. That Literally, really... it's like Sky Plus in your car for digital radio on a Pioneer product. It's as simple as that. And the, uh, the question I had was, how long will it store for? At which point you got very, very technical on my chubby ass and yeah. saying, well, that actually depends on the bit rate of the broadcast and between five and ten minutes, depending on the super fidelity of the radio station you're broadcasting. But yeah. Uh, that's really, really cool. There's just um, two things I just wanted to quickly get in, into this very briefly. Yeah. It's on the two single DIN products, so the one with Bluetooth and DAB and the one with uh, DAB only. The time shift goes back in minutes, or, sorry, increments of one minute. Right. What I'm going to show you next is the two DIN product, which you can do it to the second. Ooh, that'd be the AVH X3500 DAB. Perfectly done there. I'm reading it off a piece of paper. I haven't learned the entire race right away. Okay, dude, let's move the camera and show us that. Perfect. Okay, here we are, the last little clip. It's the AVH X3500 DAB. And this is well, one of the sexiest uh, doubled in digital radios on the market. And Grish is going to show us how time shift works to the second. Sure. So what we've done is we've covered the other two products in terms of the system follow, time shift, and pausing on there. It's slightly different on the 2 din unit. First thing I'm going to show you how to do is when you get the unit out of the box, you have blue illumination and a blue background. So all of our products are about ease of use. So what I'll do is if I just change the background, say to, I don't know, that one there. So we've got a, a moving image now. The illumination will set to RGB, so you can have that whatever you want on there. And the screen color, uh, how does that one look, Adam? Is that look cool? Perfect. It just makes it a bit easier to see. You can see instantly the difference that's made and you can customize those to anything you want or add JPEGs as well. Now what we'll add do... Add JPEGs as well? Yep, you can add your uh, JPEGs that's on there. Yeah, that's yeah. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I was so hoping that we didn't have to go on that one. Tone, but you can put a pretty picture of your girlfriend's face or a cat. Yes, or uh, your car, say you've been to a cruise or of something. Course, yes. and, you know, cool, uh, right? it's, yeah. it's about your own decor, isn't it? That's the choice. It's about making it personal to the each yeah. individual user. So well, there's all your audio sources. Now this menu is familiar with one of our top end units from last year. We've introduced it on this year as well. Okay. Straight into DAB, instantly says no signal. Why? Because you have to tune it in. Now we've tuned a station in already, which is BBC Radio 1. But it, what you have to do is just press the search button, go service, and you can see how easy it is to tune in stations. Wow. You can go alphabetical, so even if you want to go all the way down to T. Absolute grunter. Uh, <laughs> there, I mean, say, 80s when I was young. Yep, or <laughs> TalkSport is a real popular one. Oh, yeah, but if we just go all the way back to uh, BBC, for example, so if we go right the way to B, there, and let's pick a, a digital only station again, for example. And you can see it's come in, you've got the sound on there. Now what we've done is we've changed the colour, we've changed the background, and we've tuned in a station. Store it as a preset. Show the colour of the background. It's That's it. It's great, but you can actually... And it's all there. I'm feeling like jazz, and jazz is a blue background. Yeah, you can change that as well. And you've got That's all the excellent. different menus, so now when you store yes. them, it actually stores the station name as well. Yeah. Dynamic is once you've listened into it, you can then get the track information and artist information, whatever the broadcaster is broadcasting. All the lovely metadata over the ASAP yep. by digital radio. Exactly. Now, what you can do on here is service follow is on as default, which is different to what we showed before. Gotcha. But the reason I've showed you this display is because you can actually make that much easier to use by pressing one button, and that's that one there, time shift. So now you've changed the display. It's so much easier to use in the car. What we'll do is. I've just paused live radio. Gotcha. I've just unpaused live radio. Or I can go back to exactly where I want to oh be. Oh man, that is and not just in one minute. No, literally down to the second. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but the cursor on the top. No, so your fingers are the way they're but you can just see it pretty, 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 Oh, there's a moment, what was it in that sense? Anyway, you want to hear that lyric again when she goes, <clears throat> or the bloke goes, yeah. You know, like tiny, what was it? Uh, I know, labyrinth, finny. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the whole point is it's enormously cool, no matter my getting excited and blithering. Grish, thank you very, very much indeed. This You're is, welcome. This uh, has been Adam Rayner and Grish Jande checking out the uh, 2013 range of Pioneer car electronics. <laughs> and uh, absolutely chuff rock to be able to say that Talk Audio was uh, the very first outfit yep. to be able to check that out. So, and uh, remember, time shift is how we roll. <laughs> Thank you very much, Chris. Adam Rayner and
Chris J. They sign me up for Talk Audio TV. Thank well, you. I've just said goodbye and I'm now saying hello from the office. Fact is, we have a small error um, in the end of that video. The takes were too good to uh, to waste them, though, especially as this is still very hot information Europe wide. Um, we said system follow, and when you look at the display of the head unit, it said service follow. This refers, of course, to uh, the same system, which is about tracking an FM broadcast um, behind the digital radio, so that if you do run out of digital radio broadcast um, actual output somewhere in the boondocks and the FM is still out there soaking the world, well, you can still listen to the FM. Um, good feature for the meanwhile. Oh, gosh knows when they're going to turn the FM transmitters off. In the meanwhile, this kind of service follow is a good feature. And uh, apologies for the error.